So this is called the Destroyer. Um, I've had confirmation of it coming inside of me and from others in the next year or two. This year there's going to be a major change. There's going to be a huge, a huge uh, event happen. Okay, this year's, and these aren't predictions from me. Okay, these are from the Holy Spirit. These are from Jesus. Jesus gives me the spirit of revelation. He comes into my dream and don't ask me why. I can't answer that yet until the end because I don't know what I am. But he's come into me in my dreams six times now. And he showed me nothing but revelations. And this thing they call the Planet X is called the Destroyer. Okay, it's... It's a dual system, but it's the evil system, and they call it the binary twin system. I call it the binary twin system, just like Adam, uh, Adam's children, Cain and Seth. They were a binary system. One equals the other out, as well as this binary system that's with our sun. It's a second sun. It keeps everything balanced the way it is. And this is the time that it comes closer than ever before. It came very close in Noah's Ark. So this is coming way closer than Noah's Ark. That's why this is Noah's Ark on no, this is Noah's Ark on steroid. What's going to happen? I finished morning the whole morning. Listen to Mike from around the world with the same stuff that I have in my heart to tell you. I don't do this for your money. I don't do this for your fame. I care less if you believe me or not. That's your problem if you don't. Because you're going to fall into the hands of even scientists say there's no way that those stars can be held. And astronomers, there's no way they can be held the way they are held and that what they're doing now. God's releasing them. He's releasing his hands off the earth. So if you think this next year, this year, this new year is going to be bad, anybody will be lucky to be alive by 2024. Okay? We're going through something we've never gone before. Even the scientists say it. Even the astronomers say it. They're saying it's the end of time, according to what the stars are telling us. They're coming in on us. How do they explain that? They're not going to be able to explain the things that are manifesting throughout people. And they're only going to get worse. Evil's going to manifest out of the evil ones. And the good are going to just get better. That's why I'm staying on the track. Teach thy brother, thy neighbor, thy brother. They mean the same thing. That's the most important one to you. Everybody but you is more important than you are. But your heavenly father first is the most important. Uh, the information I get isn't just from people. Okay? People call me crazy. I had my cousin call me that last week. God bless his soul. Hope he finds God. I pray pray for the, these people that you know constantly that God will show them something he's shown you. It's the, the, it's the lateness of the hour, what I keep explaining to people. But they don't seem to abhor to that, and uh, they go back to living their lives. And such as the flood as Noah, they were eating and drinking and giving in marriage and having children. Until the flood came and took them away on an hour they know not. It's for the people the hour they're not watching, they will be taken. But for God's people, if the good man was to watch, he wouldn't suffer his house to be broken up. And go, like, you can't teach, they don't teach that on this. They teach you're going to get raptured, you're going to fly. No, we are angels. We are taking part in the harvest, but there's few on this earth that are harvesting. Angels are working through us to harvest you. You don't get it. It's spiritual harvest. It's not catching away. We're catching them. It says we're catching them out of the their souls out of the fire. So go away, get what catching away means. People do not know how to interpret it. Okay, and I can guarantee you. They're not teaching this stuff in the church that I teach. Therefore, it's the apostate church. I don't go to church nowadays because it's all apostate. Women teachers and gay teachers and 
uh, teach, uh, preachers doing sin and evil sins and having sex with the people in their congregation and all this kind of stuff is going on. And I believe there's not a church on this earth that's running that isn't apostate. And that's why Jesus said, I build my church without hands and walls. The synagogue is no more. It's the Laodicean church. At the end of Revel or in Revelations, when it explains all the church, how come Laodicea is the last church? And, and if we are in the last days, doesn't Laodicea mean the last days church? Those people that are telling you, oh, I'm a female, but I'm covered under my husband. No, you're not. Not in the pulpit, not in the synagogue. God's not going to change what he said and contradict his own self. There's 18 say that women should not speak in the pulpit. Nothing about being covered by the husband. All husbands cover their wives that are following with God, and so did Adam. Like this is like the, this is the Holy Spirit that gives me this stuff. I don't even understand what I'm explaining sometimes until it's done. I don't watch myself over. I'm not boasting. I'm not proud. I'm not saying I know more than you. I'm saying if Jesus has touched you six times, I don't even like to go here and say that. I don't understand why, and that's as far as I'm going to go. He's been in six of my dreams, and there's people that haven't even had a dream of him. Jesus is the spirit of prophecy and revelation he gave. So what has he given us now? Revelation. I've had tons of revelation dreams. And now I predict this year, this big event will happen. And we will go into lockdown because I don't predict. The Holy Spirit did through me. And it's been, confirm it's been confirmed by other people, many other people, man. So this year, a lot of people are going to go crying for God because they're going to see that their lives are probably in jeopardy and that you're going to lose your soul if you don't follow Jesus. It's awful to fall in the hands of the living God, especially if you ha have no Jesus or God in you. You're an abomination, a desolation. You're desolate of Jesus, and that is committing an abomination. And you're probably doing many abominations. Okay, so I'll be on tonight, and it's just crazy. Planet X, what they call Planet X, is called the Destroyer. It'll be here uh, this year or next year for sure. Okay, so that's a but, and I don't know the day or the hour, but I know because God's gave me lots of dreams of it. It's time when God gives you dreams, when Jesus gives you dreams of revelation, they will be fulfilled. Here, through a true speaker, one that really loves God and Jesus and depends on him. And I hold on him like you guys wouldn't believe for you. Because if you look out for thy brother, you will be delivered. If you have any hate of anybody or no forgiveness of anybody on this earth, you will not be with the Father in heaven. You don't have the spirit of love. You don't have the Father and loving thy neighbor is the absolute most important thing before, after God, first. People got to get this. <laughs> they got to grasp it. They're going to be all, it's going to be like a, a movie that's so, so popular. And they're making a number two of that movie. And that's the end part. That's more... It's got more revealing in it. The people are crowding and they're going to rush around people with Christianity and they're going to ask, what do I do to save my soul? And I'm going to say, well, brother, you've came to the right place. That's what I'm here for. It's for you, not me. you got to have to learn that. Yeah, I pray for them now. I told everybody else, why don't you start putting your eyes on other people instead of yourself and see what happens to you. That's one of the things that Jesus says, and you love thy father with all thy heart, thy soul, and thy strength. Those two things will get you to heaven alone. Okay? They cover many sins, right? And you will follow all the other things because it becomes natural. The closer you get to them, the more you do. The more you love doing it, the more you love sharing, giving, and charity. 
and actually knowing what you're here for. If you think your life is, is, is purposeless, think again. Come to the God and come to God and Jesus and see what your life is. And you will be amazed. Everything else is boring. Even my motorbike, I haven't even rode it yet. Mike was saying, oh, people like their toys. No, I just got one for when I go and everybody's got their toys. I take my motorbike and I ride it into the field, into the wilderness, and I talk with God. See, I'm going to use it for other things as well. And I'm only using it on the vacations and days off that I get to use it. Three weeks a year. That's it. I'm paying $11,000. Who cares? It's just money. It's my toy, and that's what I want to do on my vacation. And that's what I'm doing, and I'm not doing it without God's permission, though. Okay, I was punished for buying that. And he said, no, you're not riding it. No, no, no. You're doing things, and he made me start thinking about people more than myself and criticizing people and talking about people behind their back. Don't be doing that. Trust me, you get attacked with everything. It starts off with a little and a little and a little. A whack, it's all back at you, attacking you. You want deliverance, love God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit with everything you have. And man, start thinking about other people. It's not about us. I'm talking to myself, not just you guys too. Okay, so I'll be on tonight. God bless you, man. I want people to start coming on. I pray in the name of Jesus that people come on for saving. This is what our job is now. We're a church together. We're going to help save people. And I'm going to get everybody involved. And that's just what it is because I care about them and want them to start. People don't know what charity means. It means giving the word freely. The, the water of life is what that word is that gives you, that Jesus gives you. And he constantly gives it to you not to keep it. Not to hold it. It's not yours. It's yours to give out. That's what your job is. We're not here to be lazy Christians and not give out the stuff and the truth that we have in us. And the true followers and the ones that are truly hearing the voice and not following others with false doctrine are getting. The other ones have the uh, error, okay? The spirit of error is not the spirit of God that was poured out on all flesh like God said he did. At the beginning and now, I believe he's doing He did it on my birthday. I have a picture. I have a picture of him. When it's split, Ezekiel 13, 20, it explains God is a, a rainbow round about. That means round. And with inside comes a great white light. And I have that. And it poured out purple in front of me on my street. Okay? So that there with God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I'm coming up with more prophecies after this is done, but it's not my time yet. I'm giving end time prophecy, okay? From Jesus. Not me. Comes to my dream and he, I touch him and something, and I get, I get filled up again with what I'm to give out. That's the water of life that Jesus says, you'll never thirst again. When you have start getting that water from right from Jesus, you'll never thirst again. No matter what you're doing bad with your fleshly stuff, I don't care. Everybody's doing, not one is not without sin here. Only one was. You can't be perfect until Jesus finishes taking what's out of you. He has to come and get it. So Satan's going to come and get it, and Jesus is going to put you through a test with that. When Satan comes for his own that's in you, you're going to have to call out for Jesus, and Jesus will remove it. He'll pluck it up by the roots. Okay? Not everybody's going to be fully delivered here. It's impossible. When you're fully delivered, you're not here anymore. Ask Ananias and his wife. They had the Holy Spirit. They said one little sin and they were gone. So if you did one little sin and you had the Holy Spirit fully in you right now, you would not be here. You would give up the ghost. Okay, so this one's Destroyer. The Destroyer is coming. And it's coming without people even warned. They're going to see it and they're not even going to have 24 hours before it comes over our land and hits us with its tail. And it's going to do it twice, by the way. And its tail is millions of miles long. What's your demons? What's your angels and demons? And weapons. Okay? 
weapons from the evil one to destroy that God's going to let go. He's going to recompense your recompense on your head. What the evil you collected up is coming back, and there's millions of them, okay? So, um, yeah, when people are crying out, I'm not going to say, I told you so. I'm just going to reach my hand out and say, I've been here for you, and I will be here for you, and I won't turn my back on you, and I won't forsake you. Do the things that Jesus did, man, like Jesus did. Believe on Jesus. Believe on his ideologies, the way he's thought, walked, talked, most walked. That's not just believing he died on the cross, man. People think it's that easy and they go out and sin. No, it's not. I mourn for the people. I was mourning all morning to song and listening to stuff for the people, not for myself. God bless you guys. See you tonight.